What's up guys, Enigma Av here. The Abyss has been throwing these Abyss Collectors and Heralds at us and quite frankly, they're annoying. They force you to use certain elements in Abyss and I love having the freedom to choose my own team. In this video, I'll be showing you how to shred through these shields. Each Herald has its own inherent weakness of course, which we're all aware of. Pyro is most weak to Hydro, Hydro is most weak to Cryo, and Electro is most weak to Pyro and Cryo. Now, the Heralds don't have too much HP. The main concern is their shields and their damage. They have many attacks that can easily one-hit KO you. When facing them, shields are your best friend. If you have a good shield user, then use them. What really trivializes these are freeze teams, especially Morgana and the Ayaka version. Those teams will make the current 12-2 and 12-3 a cakewalk. If you don't have these units, you're going to want to bring a very beefy shield as well as an Anemo character. These heralds hit very hard and it's almost impossible to dodge all of their attacks. If you don't have a freeze team, it will be rather difficult. You'll want to focus on a national type team. This is a much more difficult run because they hit like a truck and if you're facing the Electro Elector, then the energy drain is quite annoying. You will have to play carefully or pack a nice shield. It's more worth it to run energy recharge substats in this case because you'll want to have your burst ready at all times to pile on elemental damage. I was able to clear the current 12-2 with my Geo Zhao team, thanks to Zhao being able to swirl. I still had quite some time to spare as well. So any main DPS along with the Anima unit and a decent shield or massive healing can easily beat this. You'll still have to be careful, but with enough effort, it's manageable. You don't need too much damage for these fights. It's all about triggering as many reactions as possible, and of course, surviving. Animo and a good shield are your best friends here. While facing the Pyro Herald, you'll want a good amount of healing too. His Pyro Aura will really drop your health, similar to Corrosion. As for the current 12-3, for the first half, you can use any team as long as you can quickly burst down their health, and then even a solo Barbara can manage this run. Focus on the orb that the Abyss Herald summons. This would do a good chunk of shield damage. I'd advise bringing a shield or a second healer because when Barbara cannot heal, she is very likely to die. For the second half, again, Freeze trivializes this. Otherwise, bring an Anima unit and a Cryo unit. They will be frozen with any Cryo attack when the shields go up, so apply as much Cryo as possible. Other than that, definitely just swirl the Cryo and you should be able to break their shields fairly quickly. Best of luck with this Abyss. It's quite annoying but also manageable with the right tactics. Please subscribe for more informative and entertaining Genshin content. Until next time, Enigma out.